Fred Spikesley's remarkable life included scoring the three Lions' first hat-trick against Scotland, sharing a stage with Charlie Chaplin and escaping a German wartime prison camp. His off-field antics as a ladies' man and heavy gambler were legendary, leading to him being dubbed the George Best of his day. Filmmakers are now trying to crowdfund a project to bring his life to the big screen and rediscover a forgotten legend. Fred's great. Great nephew Clive Nicholson started the campaign after writing a book about him last year. He said, Fred was a working class lad who would have gone into the factories. But he was born at a unique moment when professionalism was coming into football. Paying players to pay was legalized in 1885. So the film can bring that in and show the first wave of working class boys who came in and pioneered a lot of the game that we recognize today. Spikesley was born in Gainsborough. Links. In 1870, and played seven times for England between 1893 and 1899. He scored 300 goals in a career stretching from 1886 to 1906. The wind as fans called him, was best known at club level as Sheffield Wednesday's biggest star. Spikesley scored both the goals in Wednesday's 2-0 1896 FA Cup triumph. But his life in the limelight stretched beyond football. In 1906 he turned his hand to acting, responding to an advert seeking ex-players to appear in the football match. It was directed by Fred Carno. And Spikesley starred alongside a young Charlie Chaplin. From 1910, he began a coaching career, managing Sweden and then winning the 1914 German Championship with Nuremberg. When the First World War began, Spikesley was arrested and imprisoned. Luckily, his wife worked with the U.S. consulate and ensured his release. He died in 1948. Aged 78, at the Goodwood races on Ladies' Day with an uncashed winning betting slip in his hand.